whom do you credit most influential in your lifetime? And again, it could be more than one personal well, I mean, or professional. Uh, my father, may he rest in peace, but he was, mm -hmm. a, he was a great leader. He was a great inspiration to me. I had tremendous parents. My mom and dad were just incredibly supportive, and I learned so much from them. I learned toughness. Mm -hmm. you know, I learned that you look in a mirror, you don't make excuses, you always it's tell great. the truth. You always tell the truth. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm such a big harper on class and integrity. Mm -hmm. You know, things aren't always going to go our way, but the one thing we always can control is the truth. Mm -hmm. So that's what I always want to live by is the truth. In 1997, when you got the call and ultimately made the decision to come here, did you ever see 20 years down the road being in the same spot? Did you, did you develop a plan and design in your mind and implement it, or is it an evolution of steps? I think the audience would be curious to know how you were able to implement such success in so many different areas well, as an athletic director. I think anybody would say you had a vision for this, it would be crazy. Right. You know, there's no way. Appreciate I, your I honesty. Came here, I came here and I knew there was a lot of problems. That's why the job was open. Mm -hmm. You know, and I had, uh, I had a great job. I was at Colorado State. Tara Lynn and her family lived in Wyoming. And everything right. worked really good for us up there. And, and they were very persistent here. Uh, Harry Jones. Yeah, specifically, and, and Sam Rector were the two people that really searched me out mm -hmm. and, and came after me. And Harry, I think, was at the time the board board of trustees president, or was on it, and Sam was on the board of trustees. So, so that they kind of worked it with me for about a four or five month period because I really had no intention of leaving. Mm -hmm. And they, if you know those two people, and I've grown to know them and love them very much, there, they don't take no for an answer. And I, right. I basically said no to them four different times over a four or five month period. Nothing about the University of Louisville, it's just I didn't want to pick up my family. Sure, and then it's a big deal. Finally, you know, we, we, we said, let's take a look. And we went and looked, and uh, we knew that there was things to fix. And we had a lot of, a lot of speed bumps in the road, mm -hmm. and we knew we, we were going to have to deal with them head on, and uh, I didn't. So what I tried to do immediately was to break down what are the issues. Number one was had to be the compliance because they were under an, uh, NCA violations, and they were right. on probation. And I, and I had no experience with that. I've never had experience with the NCA. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I just wanted to, you know, I, I deal with the NCA, but I've never had right. it on the side of enforcement. So I learned a lot through that process, and that was just, that was winding down in the basketball situation. So we got that worked out, and, mm -hmm. and we took our medicine and moved on. And then I had to look at the football program. The football program was ailing, so I had right. to deal with that immediately. Uh, academics, I really wanted to see academics grow. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, I thought we really lacked in, in, in an academic setting, and I really wanted to see the the culture grow and get better. And then I also want to see gender equity become a huge priority yeah, here. And that bio. It's, it's very important to me. Uh, Title mm -hmm. IX and gender equity are very, very important to me. And it's something I've lived by. You know, I've got, I've got mm -hmm. beautiful twin daughters who were field hockey players here. That's great. So I always wanted to, you know, I'm on a selfish standpoint, I wanted to make sure they sure. had an opportunity, not, not here, but anywhere in the country. And I think mm -hmm. the little bit that I could do at this university, I think would send a good message throughout the country. So those were the four areas we had to fix. We had to fix compliance, academics, gender equity, and then attack facilities.